Hi guys, in today's video we're going to take a look at solution, volume and concentration, concentrated and dilute solutions, exam style questions and finally a summary. So firstly, let's have a look at the concept of concentration. Well, concentration is a measure of how much solute is dissolved in a given solvent. So here I've shown that the solute, our little red particles, are dissolved within our solvent, our blue solvent shown here. So what calculations can we do with our concentration? Well, we can do calculations looking at the solution volume and concentration. And we can summarise this in a little equation pyramid as I've shown here. The number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume. And we can use this pyramid to manipulate gas equation very easily. N, our number of moles, is measured in the unit of mole. C, the concentration of our solution, is measured in the unit moles per decimeter cubed. And V, the volume of our solution, is measured in decimeters cubed, where 1,000 centimeters cubed is equal to 1 decimeter cubed. So now we've had a brief look at the equation that we use in our calculations. Let's have a look at a worked example together. Calculate the number of moles dissolved in 10 decimeters cubed of a 2 mole per decimeter cubed solution. So we want to work out the number of moles, n. So the arrangement we'll use is the number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume. So we know that concentration is 2 moles per decimeter cubed, as we're given that in the question. We know the volume is 10 decimeters cubed, as again we are given that. So we can substitute these values into our equation to find the number of moles. So the number of moles is equal to 2 multiplied by 10 to give us 20 moles. So let's have a look at the difference between a concentrated and dilute solution. Well, as we mentioned, concentration is a measure of the amount of solute dissolved in a given volume of solvent. A concentrated solution will contain a large amount of solute per decimeter cubed of solvent. There's lots of our solute in there per volume of our solvent. However, a dilute solution is the opposite. There's a small amount of solute per decimeter cubed of our solvent. You can see it's comparatively more dilute. In a mixture of 100 centimetres cubed of 0.1 mole per decimetre cubed potassium chloride and 100 centimetres cubed of 0.1 mole per decimetre cubed potassium carbonate, what is the total concentration of potassium ions in the mixture formed? And we're given some options here. I'm going to move over to some lined paper to answer this question fully. So let's first of all write down what we know. We know that in our potassium chloride, the volume is 100 centimetres cubed. That's 0.1 decimeters cubed, where 1,000 centimeters cubed is equal to 1 decimeter cubed. We know the concentration is equal to 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. Now, using our pyramid, which says that the number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume, we can calculate the number of moles, where the number of moles is equal to concentration multiplied by volume. So that would be 0 0.1 multiplied by 0 0.1 to give us 0 0.01 moles. Now if we have a look at our potassium carbonate, our K2CO3, the volume again that we were given in the question was 100 centimetres cubed. Again, that's 0 0.1 decimetres cubed. The concentration was again 0 0.1 moles per decimetre cubed. So the number of moles will be the concentration 0.1 multiplied by the volume 0.1 to give us 0.01 moles again. However, it's important to see that for every one carbonate ion, we're producing two potassium ions. So we're going to have to multiply this by two. So that will be 0.01 multiplied by two to give us 0.02. So now we know they are producing 0.02 and 0.01 moles of potassium ions. It's 0.02 plus 0.01 to give us 0.03 moles of potassium ions produced. We were asked to work out the concentration. So we know that the number of moles is equal to 0.03 moles. We also know the volume. 
The volumes of both those solutions was 100 centimeters cubed. So the total volume is going to be 200 centimeters cubed. Now we know that 200 centimeters cubed is the same as 0.2 decimeters cubed. So now using our equation pyramid again, we want to work out the concentration. So we can see the calculation we'll need to do is that the concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. So that's 0 0.03 divided by 0 0.2 to give us a value of 0 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed. So let's go back to our question and see which answer we should select. Now we can see that it's A, 0 0.15 moles per decimeter cubed. Let's look at the second question we have. Citric acid is an acid used to add a sour taste to drinks and sweets. Calculate the amount in mole of citric acid in 25 centimeters cubed of 0.01 mole per decimeter cubed. So first of all, let's write out what we know. We know the volume is equal to 25.0 centimeters cubed. That's 25 divided by 1000 decimeters cubed or 0 0.025 decimeters cubed. We know that the concentration is 0 0.01 moles per decimeter cubed. Now looking at the equation pyramid we can see the number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume. So n is equal to c multiplied by v showing us that it's 0 0.01 multiplied by 0 0.025 to give us 0 0.0025 moles. So let's have a look at the third and final question. Phosphoric acid H3PO4 can take part in the reaction shown in the equation below. And we see phosphoric acid reacting with sodium hydroxide. Calculate the volume of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed sodium hydroxide that reacts exactly with 30 centimeters cubed of 0.1 mole per decimeter cubed of phosphoric acid. So the first step we're going to take is we're going to write down what we know about our phosphoric acid. We know the concentration is equal to 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. And we know the volume is equal to 30 centimeters cubed, which is equal to... 0.03 decimeters cubed. Using our equation pyramid, the number of moles is equal to the concentration multiplied by the volume. The number of moles is equal to 0.1 multiplied by 0.03, giving us 0.003 moles. We can see from the ratios in our equation that one mole of phosphoric acid will react with three moles of sodium hydroxide. So 0.003 moles of phosphoric acid will react with 0.009 moles. So that's three times as much sodium hydroxide. So now we know that the number of moles of sodium hydroxide is equal to 0 0.009 moles. We're told in the question the concentration is equal to 0 0.1 moles per decimeter cubed. We want to work out the volume. From our pyramid, we can see the rearrangement that we'll need to use is that the volume is equal to the number of moles divided by the concentration. So that's 0 0.009 divided by 0 0.1 to give us 0 0.09 decimeters cubed. That is equal to 90 centimeters cubed. So let's take a look at question four. A student dissolves 6 grams of magnesium chloride in 100 centimetres cubed of water. What is the concentration of chloride ions in the resulting solution? So, the first thing we're going to do is convert the mass of magnesium chloride into the number of moles. Remembering our pyramid, shows the number of moles is equal to the mass divided by the molar mass. So the number of moles of magnesium chloride is equal to 6 divided by the molar mass of magnesium chloride, which we can calculate by looking at our periodic table. We can see we have magnesium over here with a mass of 24.3, and we have chlorine over here with a mass of 35.5. We then go back to our calculation. We have one atom of magnesium, so that's 24.3, and we add two atoms of chlorine. 
So that's 35.5 times 2 to give us a total mass of 95.3. So 6 divided by our molar mass of 95.3 gives us 0 0.0630 moles. Now we need to calculate the number of moles of chloride ions in the solution. So the number of moles of chloride ions. So we know we have our diatomic chlorine forming chloride ions. We're going to form two chloride ions for every molecule of chlorine. So that's twice as many moles. 0 0.0630, the number of moles of magnesium chloride multiplied by two to give us 0 0.126 moles of chloride ions. Now we need to finally work out the concentration of chloride ions. Again, using another pyramid, we know that concentration is equal to the number of moles divided by the volume. So the concentration of chloride ions is equal to the number of moles, 0.126, divided by the volume. We're told we have 100 centimetres cubed. Now we know that 100 centimetres cubed is equal to 0.1 decimetres cubed. So we can divide by 0.1, giving us 1.26 moles per decimeter cubed. This question carries three marks. It's quite a long calculation question. The first mark comes from correctly calculating the number of moles of magnesium chloride. The second for calculating the number of moles of chloride ions correctly. The third and final mark for correctly calculating the concentration of chloride ions. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying the video. If you're looking for an amazing A-level chemistry resource, join me today in my series of engaging bite-sized video tutorials. Just click the snap of my smiley face and together let's make A-level chemistry a walk in the park.